Welcome to Chase Music Hall, and welcome to my home, which is sounds odd to say, but this is where I live, so I guess you're, you're all sitting in my living room. Uh, for those of you, I, I heard some of you talking about who I am and, and that you've read things about me, so I'll just briefly, for those of you that don't, uh, tell you a little bit about how this room came to be. Um, when I bought the hotel, uh, my wife and I moved to Tennessee in 2004, and my band started playing across the street at a little place called the Whistle Stop Cafe. And she would come out and, of course, support the band and look across the street and uh, see this building, which was sitting empty and kind of cold. And so uh, about two weeks or so before she passed away, she was diagnosed with cancer in September of 2006. About two weeks before she passed away, she said uh, she wanted to go for a ride in the car, which was odd because she, is, she was weak and she was uh, you know, not doing real well. So we got in the car and we wound up in front of the Walking Horse Hotel. And she said she wanted to go inside, and I said, I know you do, honey, maybe someday, but not today. And she died about a week later. And so I brought her inside the best way that I could, which was in spirit, which is why this room looks the way that it does and why the hotel is starting to become what it's, what, what it's soon to become. Uh, gospel music is something that I've always loved. M my band performs here twice a month, uh, three times a month, actually, and then we bring in you know blues artists and jazz artists and everything in between. However, uh, gospel, you know, I... I I'll tell a brief story, uh, which uh, some people in the room know. I've never been a big prayer, um, and it's not because I don't believe in God. It's because I've always assumed that my little problems were so little that it didn't, uh, it didn't warrant bothering God for people that had real problems. But about a month and a half ago, I laid down one night before bed, and I prayed, and I asked God to help me to find the right people to bring gospel music inside Chase Music Hall. And about uh, two days later, I got a telephone call from Ronald Johnson, and he said, I'd like to talk to you about gospel music. He and I didn't know each other from a hole in the head, but apparently God wanted us to meet. And from that point forward, I told Ronald, I said, I'm just gonna give you a fair warning. I'm not much of a talker, I'm a doer. I said, so if we're gonna do gospel music, let's do it. And what, three weeks later, we were doing it. So this is our third week, and we're so happy to have the sergeants with us. Uh, I'm learning more and more about gospel music, and I'm just grateful that you're all here. So please enjoy the sergeants' music this morning. And uh, let people know we're here. We're going to be doing gospel music every week. Next week we have Mercy, uh, the Mercy Road Quartet coming out and followed by anybody who's anybody in the world of gospel music. And if you know somebody who's a great gospel artist, please tell them to call us because we'd love to have them out here with us as well. So welcome the sergeants. Jesus, I can ride the glory red. Because of Jesus. 
Jesus, I can ride the glory rail. Yeah. I'd like to thank to all my friends who been here with us this afternoon. Maybe I was will, but we never be out in love. I love y'all. I've known the Lord so many years of His mercy and love I can tell. But to tell the truth I must also tell the many times I fell. In my shame, the Spirit came with the comfort of God's holy dove. I may have been out of His will, but i never been out of His love. I may have been out of His will, but i never been out of His love. He reaches down to the lowest sinner from the highest throne above. I may have been 